Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is the sun. Finding the exact height or altitude of the sun. To find the sun's altitude above the Earth's flat surface is straightforward. Since a ball-shaped Earth or flat Earth has an equator of the same circumference, or 24,901 miles in circumference, we'll use that. The equator is a coordinate system for pilots of planes and captains of ships. The equator is used to mislead, M-I-S, mis mislead the hundreds of millions of humans into accepting that the Earth is, gl is globe-shaped or ball-shaped and only 24,901 miles in circumference, or about 8,000 miles in diameter. As far as I can tell, the Earth is about 69,080 miles in circumference at a minimum, and 22,000 miles in diameter as a minimum. This is made of, one, the radius, oops, the radius from the central north pole to the equator, 4,000 miles. Number two, the distance from the equator to the Antarctic ring, another 4,000 miles. Three, width of the Antarctic ring, 1,200 miles. Four, a land the size of the United States on the other side of the Antarctic ring, 2,000 miles. Number five, one through four above that I just spoke of adds up to 11,000 miles in radius. 11,000 miles in radius times 6.28 or 2 times pi times the radius equals 6.28 approximately, which equals 69,080 miles in circumference. Now, to continue, also about, the Earth is about 27,000 miles in radius as a probable, probable maximum. The Earth's surface being flat, like the United Nations people at the highest level say, a flattened ellipsoid, or simply a pancake, or a pancake-shaped Earth system. The Earth is 100 percent utterly flat where we live and has no epilipsoidal bulge. That's right, the United Nations people at the highest level know the earth is flat. The United Nations, pardon me, the United States of America's Navy or naval military also know the earth is flat. NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration's people at the highest level know the Earth is flat, and all space agencies' people at the highest level of the world know the Earth is flat. Will they tell you and the hundreds of millions of dumbed-down, dim-witted, accept anything they're told? Not ever. They have a world slave system to run where the slaves themselves, in the billions, don't know they are mental slaves, literally, and physical slaves, literally, don't know, and are to stay right here on this part of the earth, never to leave for other lands, stay on a small, limited, ball-shaped earth that is much, much larger than they've been told, and believing in a false heliocentric religion model of a universe which don't exist. To find the sun's exact altitude, we'll simply use basic trigonometries, angle of elevation, or old 100% reliable, 100% tried over tens of thousands of years, and true basic trigonometries, angle of elevation. There are about eight main triangle categories. We'll use the right triangle form. Why? Because it fits the purpose. You must 
pick the correct triangle for what you're doing or you'll get an incorrect answer. The numbers used must also be correct. Whether the earth is flat or ball shaped is irrelevant. Totally. If the sun circles it, the equator, that is at 24,901 miles in circumference in 24 hours, then the earth's shape is irrelevant because we have measurements for the things, all the things we need regardless. Hold on please. I am going to move the camera. Now, now, to continue. Now, this here is basic trigonometry's angle of elevation. Number one is the equator at 24,901 miles divided by 24 hours equals 1,037.54 miles per hour divided by 60 minutes equals 17.29 miles per minute times 5,280 feet which is equal to one mile and this equals 91,303.66 feet divided by 60 seconds which equals 1,521 Point seven two feet per second. Number we put the one thousand five hundred twenty one point seven two feet down here at the adjacent side of the triangle where the earth is one thousand five hundred twenty one point seven two feet. Now number two right here is that it is eleven fifty nine AM and 59 seconds with one single second left before 12 noon where the shadow, where, pardon me, where the sun itself is directly, directly over your head casting a shadow into your shoes or feet. Now, number three, the tangent is 89.99 degrees. This is the tangent, 89.99 nine nine degrees. The tangent equals five thousand seven hundred twenty nine point five seven seven eight nine three. That is and you multiply the you multiply it with one thousand five hundred twenty one point seven two feet which equals eight million seven hundred eighteen thousand eight hundred thirteen point twenty seven feet and you divide this amount of feet by five thousand two hundred eighty feet which is equal to one mile and what you will get is equal to one thousand one thousand six hundred fifty one point two nine miles that is correct number four right here is 89.99 degrees is closest to 90 degrees and have two places after 89 which is the 99 because everything else have two places after the main part 17.29 1,037.54 2, two places and with only one single second left, one single second left, and this is to give the maximum distance of the sun from the earth. And there here we have a right angle triangle. As always, every triangle has three, th three, uh, three edges, A, B, and C. This is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite side, and down at the bottom is the adjacent. We put 1,521.72 feet here. We put 89.99 degrees here. And A to B, A to B is equal to 1,521.72 feet. A to C is equal to 89.99 degrees. B to C, 
V to C equals 8 million, 718,813.27 divided by 5,280 feet, which equals 1 mile, which equals 1,651.29 miles. Hence, the sun, when circling the equator, is exactly 1,651.29 miles above the Earth's surface. And I want to thank everyone. Oh, yes, please share this video and have a fine, fine day.